by Google Podcast. Accessibility and Gmail. Presented by Jitsna Kaki. Hi. I would like to give you a brief demo of the standard view of Gmail because many people on blind mailing list have been asking questions about how accessible the standard view of Gmail is. Up till now, only the basic HTML of Gmail has been accessible for screen reader users due to the lack of ARIA support in screen readers. Once the screen reader companies have started adding ARIA support in screen readers, Google has started working on making the standard view of Gmail accessible as well. Currently, the standard view of Gmail is quite accessible for a screen reader user when using an ARIA-supported browser and an ARIA-supported screen reader. Before I jump in to give a brief demo of the standard view of Gmail, I would first like to explain what is ARIA. ARIA is a set of documents published by the W3C that specifies the increased accessibility for dynamic content and UI components developed using AJAX, HTML, JavaScript, and such other technologies. Some parts of Gmail have been made accessible using ARIA, while others without. Hence, some parts of Gmail can be used on a non-ARIA supporting browser and a non-ARIA supporting screen reader. Now, I would like to give you a brief demo of the standard view of Gmail using a screen reader. First off, I would like to demo how to opening an email. So once you go to www.gmail.com and log in, you should be taken to the standard view unless and until you have the basic HTML view set as your default view. In that scenario, if you have the basic HTML view set as your default view, then you can log in and click on the standard view link, and you should be taken to your standard view. Once you're in the standard view, you're taken to your inbox view by default. Now I'm putting the cursor focus at the top of the page, and I'm jumping to the first checkbox on the page because I know that only the emails in the inbox view have a checkbox next to them. So if I want to jump to the first email, then I just use the shortcut key for the specific screen reader to jump to the first checkbox. So if you notice, the label for the checkbox is read as the name of the sender or the senders in the email thread. Once I get there, I can use the down arrow key to the subject line. As you noticed, it, the subject line is recognized as a link, so I can press Enter to open the email. Enter Gmail inbox one x dot demo at gmail dot com Mozilla Firefox main. In this view, you now have the email open, so you can navigate to the email and you can read it. The other thing I would like to explain to you is the section headers which have been added to the page. Section headers basically help screen reader users, one, to visualize the page, and second, to make it makes it much easier to navigate through the page. So I'll show you the headers added to this page um, where the email is open. So I put the cursor focus at the top of the page. Gmail. And I'm basically going to jump through the all of the section headers on the page. Gmail logo heading level one. Chat heading level two link. Heading level two link. CSUN demo inbox X heading level one. External demo heading level three. Here you'll notice that there's a heading for the sender for the individual email. If the thread list is expanded, then there will, there is an heading for each of the sender names of each of the emails in the thread list. However, if it's collapsed, then there's only one email and there's only one header for the sender's name. The top. And that's the last section header on the page. So this basically is a very brief demo that I wanted to give you. But if you want more details about using the standard view of Gmail with a screen reader user, you can simply go to the help menu in Gmail by pressing on the help link in Gmail. And in the search edit box, you can type screen reader plus standard plus view. 
and the second or the third result should be a help center document explaining the detailed steps for using the standard view of Gmail. Hope you find Gmail much more accessible and have a nice day. Thank you very much.